ConCut for all your concrete cutting needs. The Park Hall Pass World New Zealand Sprint Car Champion, Jamie Duff. He takes it out, second home of the American, Ricky Logan. Third across the line is Daniel Eagleton. Is that as good as it gets, Pete? It was a good race. Um, well deserved. Well deserved for the winner there. So Jonathan Allard, he's heading straight back to the pits. Said I'm out, <laughs> I'm out of here. It's taken a lot of effort to get uh, the one NZ sticker. Anyone you wish to thank? Um, yeah, all well, our family and friends that support us have done for years. Uh, all our sponsors, uh, Holer, Straight Shipping, uh, searching for new sponsors this year. It's a bit easy to sell with the one NZ. Uh, yeah, just uh, can't thank enough people. There's obviously a lot of friends and family behind us. Big like club, Rapuna, everyone that helps out. Jeff, you know, your, your crew chief, he, he does a hell of a lot for you and uh, and uh, he, he sort of just really uh, puts the icing on the cake. Without him, you, you probably wouldn't be where you are. No, that's definitely right. He gives up a lot of his time away from his family for us. Uh, I think his first daughter was born on the next day we drove to Auckland to race, so that's that's the type of commitment uh, he has. It's real amazing and I uh, always try to make it to thank him, but I think it goes straight to his head sometimes. <laughs> now, I've got a couple of uh, questions that have come in from... Uh, a couple of people. Uh, Brent Harlock's asked, uh, "What are your plans for next season?" I know you've already covered this, but uh, apart from the uh, the American trip uh, that's in the works, uh, is there anything confirmed and in, in that sort of thing? Um, in regards to New Zealand, we're not 100% sure. They would to look at numbers at Western Springs, obviously, but they have to keep racing those fast guys, the likes of Brendel and Daniel Egerton and uh, Jonathan Elliott. If he returns, uh, you just can't be fast without racing guys like that. So wherever they go, I guess we'll follow. And what, and what about uh, the, the plans for, for America? Any uh, confirmed drives? Are you going to take the car over or have you got someone that you can uh, go, hey, look, uh, I'd love to drive your car or they're going, look, Jamie, we want you to drive our car? Um, we're looking at leasing a ride in, um, in uh, Washington State, maybe for two or three weeks to a speed week, which is more or less uh, three days off and three weeks of racing. It's real intense and uh, other than that, nothing really floating around. Of course, uh, the, the the defining moment uh, for Jamie, the one NZ. Uh, what do you remember? It was it. Uh, do you remember it very vividly, or was it uh, a bit of a blur with uh, with the post post race uh, celebrations? No, I I didn't realise we were close to the end of the race, and then the, the white flag came out. As it came out, Rodney Wood had a big crash, and I thought, shit, one to go. And then it sort of started to th think. It didn't get too carried away, but uh, yeah, you're pretty uh, pretty impressed, eh? And uh, of course, uh, with anything, uh, when you have a bit of a crash and uh, and the boys uh, put it up on the lids, uh, what, what's the reaction from Dad? I don't give a shit. We've got a truck full of parts, and uh, they only crash because they're trying hard. I'd rather that happen than be on the track um, smooching around trying to look after the car. It's not what the sport's about, so no, doesn't worry me at all. And. Uh, as as a racer yourself, you know you've been there and you've done the hard yards and you've you've done well and and the Duff name is uh, is one of those names in speedway and particularly sprint car racing that uh, has a well and long association with the class and uh, what you guys do are travelling in and out week in week out up to Western Springs, you know Jamie's up there and and Steve O's down here running. At, at, you guys, uh, you know, you have to pat yourselves on the back because you guys really uh, do a hell of a lot for sprint car racing. Look, um, we love it. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot more to sprint car racing than racing a car. You get to travel around the country and meet people. Otherwise, you're just sitting home every weekend, aren't you? So, no, that's it's what we do and we like doing it, you know. 
Well, Steve, you've got to be very happy. Uh, Jamie NZ1, Steve, he's getting behind it. He's had a few race wins, and, and the team is doing well on a whole. So congratulations on your efforts, and uh, may there be many more success to come from the boys. Thanks, man. Thank you. race rituals that uh, that are not known to the general public that you uh, would like to share? Don't sleep in. Get up at the crack of dawn. That's about it. It's not uh, nothing to do with the right undies? <laughs> no, no, no undies, mate. So it's the day after racing. Is it planning mode or is it party mode? The day after racing? Yeah. That's uh, party mode. Yeah, drinking plenty of beer and enjoying it. 